So now we're going to focus on some of the drawings from semester two. I showed you the pencil popcorn drawing and now I'm going to talk about the second popcorn drawing. So I did it again, different popcorn kernel this time. And I used ballpoint pen for the very fine lines and the lighter lines. And I used micron pen for the darker places and the shadows. So I used a lot of hatching technique for this, for his shadows. At this point, we had stopped doing the 52 week challenge and we we're just focusing on simple drawings. And I had um, a photo of marbles that I was planning to use for a hyperrealism painting. On these two pages, I'm working on hyperrealism. And you can see I've glued in three different pieces of cardboard into my sketchbook. And I've drawn like polygons around them so I could get the dimensions exact once I transferred that to the next page. For the cardboard drawings, I used a base layer of marker um, and then I used mainly Prismacolor soft core colored pencils to get the details and a little bit of ballpoint pen for the darkest shadows. My favorite piece is definitely the one at the bottom. It just has such an interesting shape to it. I was given a photo of some eggs in a bowl and I use a very similar process that I use for the cardboard drawing. I use marker for the base color, like especially on the background, and then I used um, colored pencils to color in the details and create the shades and everything. The final um, drawing that I'll be showing you is with jelly beans. So. Our teacher provided jelly beans for everyone, so not only did we get to draw them, but we also got to eat some, too. And we used Prismacolor pencils to draw them. And I have some swatches on the previous page, just testing out each color before I actually put them on the paper. That was the final drawing for semester two and for the class basically usually when i do art classes and i have a sketchbook i don't use all the pages i have um a lot of portraits too like i did a portrait with watercolor pencils and then i also did a portrait with acrylic paint that's it for this sketchbook i have a lot of pages that i feel like I could use again, like if I erased some things or covered it up with gesso and did something totally new with it, I think that would be a good idea. So thanks for watching this video and that's all for now.